Ah, uh, yes. Women's workwear. What a fickle beast. My name is Lexi of Lex Electric. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. We are going to be reviewing and rating four pairs of pants that I have tried and tested on the job site in my occupation as an apprentice electrician. So four pairs, two brands, three of which are Carhartts. They have um, women's work pants, men's work pants, and the overalls. And one of them is the Helly Hansen men's pair, which I know they do have a women's pair now, but I just haven't tried them yet, so we're basing it off of that. So, if you are like me and struggle to find work pants that work for your lifestyle, I don't know why I sounded like an infomercial right there. <laughs> if you're like me and you're struggling to find work pants that fit your lifestyle and your job and how you want to use your pants, then this is the video for you. I'd like to thank again Racketeers for sending me a tool belt, so now I don't really need as strong as as use as utilized as utilitarian oh my god after racketeers sent me a tool belt i have actually converted to wearing a tool belt full time which has made the necessity to have the pockets that i want in a, a regular pair of work pants not as important but it still is important for a lot of people and if you are doing something that you don't require a tool belt you want to have pockets for your tools then this is what I will be showing you today. With this rating system today, I will be rating things in terms of green, yellow, or red. Green being, you should definitely go out and buy these yesterday. Yellow being, if they are on sale and you think they might work for you, go ahead. And red being like, avoid at all costs. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up on the list are the first pair of Carhartts that I ever owned. These were luckily free. But these are men's Carhartts, so right off the bat we have some issues. Now, <laughs> down here, it might not read well on camera, but the crotch has a lot of a lot of space. A lot of space in it, and there's a really awkward kind of bunching going on <laughs> in this area because I think they didn't design this for, you know, hips in mind. And I did have to upsize so that my butt would fit into it, but whatever. The nice thing about these pants is because they have so many pockets, they are really useful. You can put your pens, pencils, calculator, snacks in this pocket, as well as your typical linesman's side cutters, you know, wallet, keys, hammer, or sanitizer if you're like me, some screwdrivers. It is a really durable and nice pant. Of all my pants, these have ripped the least. Why am I so out of breath? from putting pants on. The only downside to these pants is um, if you're like me and you work in Canada, most job sites require you to wear a um, safety vest. So when you're going to the bathroom, especially if it's involving porta potties, you gotta take off your safety vest. Sometimes your harness if you're working on the roof. You gotta take off these things, strip, and then look, when you're in the porta potty, you put your bib down, everything that was in there falls on the ground. <laughs> and when you are, you know, doing your business, the bib can sometimes touch the nasty porta potty floor, and so that part is kind of annoying. So if you're looking for durability and you have flush toilets where you're not using disgusting porta potties, I will say these are nice and durable, and they have a lot of function to them. So I would put these solidly in the yellow category. If they're on sale, grab a pair. If they're not, you don't feel like spending the money, you don't have to get them. But if it works for you, it works for you. Okay, um, my channel's not usually, uh, edgy, but, um, sorry mom, I, <laughs> I've gained some weight. <laughs> oh, you mad. The very well fitting women's lined Carhartt work pants. Well, let me just say, if you're going to make women's work pants, why are they so low waisted? I've never seen a woman want a pair of pants that is so low waisted. It doesn't look like it in the camera because I'm kind of angled upwards, but like I remember when I first got these and my butt was just, I mean, look, look at my butt. You can see my underwear. It's sticking out. That's problem number one. Problem number two. I think within the first two days of wearing these pants, I put a screwdriver in my pocket and it tore a hole right through it. Like literally like it was tissue paper. Same thing goes for this pocket, which I had fixed from a professional tailor and they immediately ripped again. So 
sweet. Problem number three. I don't understand. Women want pants to fit their bodies. We're not looking for skinny jeans that happen to have pockets and call them work pants. These pants fit so tight. Even if you get the right size, they are so sucked in to your body that it makes it so annoying when you have tools in your pocket and you bend over, they're tight against your waist, they're tight against your thighs, and they fall out all the freaking time. Not to mention the shitty quality, so like, what's the point of these pockets anyways? The one nice thing about these pants is they are fleece lined, so they're super warm, but again, they're just, you'd think with Carhartts you get better quality, but if you see here, it's actually really thin material, and as you can see here, After having gone from a really durable pair of Carhartts to the women's pants being literal tissue paper, I really lost a lot of respect for the brand and um, would never buy these again. So these are firmly in the red category. Avoid at all costs. Also, they only come in gray and brown. Like, black is a thing, but... <sighs> all right, next up, these are the men's Carhartt pants, and I gotta say, these are some of my best fitting Carhartts. And you wanna know why? Because I paid $50 to have someone tailor them to actually fit my ass. As you can see by the back pockets, they are very close together because I had to have them cinched, which from the front makes them look nice and high-waisted. Pant manufacturers, please take note, this is the fit that women want when they ask for pants. Thank you. They fit in the waist, and they fit in the butt, and they have a nice loose fit throughout the bottom. Now I will say, I had to buy a size that was far too large for my waist just to get my butt over it, so hence the tailoring. But these are a decent quality pants. I do like that they have these pockets, although as you can see, I have ripped these in less than a year's of use, so like, take that for what you will. So for quite an expensive pant, I wish they were more durable, better quality pockets, and I also wish that their sizing wasn't crazy and I had to spend $50 to get them altered. So all in all, I probably spent like 100 and, $130 odd dollars for these pants and they didn't really last more than six months. So I would say these are in the yellow category. If you can find a pair on sale, cool. If you don't plan on shoving tools in the pockets, might be good. If you can afford to have them tailored, Cool, but otherwise, they're not your get up and go sort of pants. Maybe if you're a dude, maybe they're perfect for you, but like for women, eh, it's just, it just really sucks that when you buy a women's equivalent to a man's pants, they're such low quality, and then when you buy the men's version, you have to have them altered to fit you. It just, something about that doesn't really ring true to me and makes me feel like women's pants are kind of an afterthought and just for the fashion. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? My upstairs neighbor decided that now was a good time to do jumping jacks. Are you ready for my ultimate favorite pair of work pants I have ever owned? You'll notice a theme with the last three pairs I've had. They're all Carhartts, and they've all let me down in some way or another. Well, the overalls were okay, but drama. They've all let me down. These ones, however, have not. These are the Helly Hansen Chelsea construction pants. And let me tell you, my favorite part of these pants is their built-in tool pockets. Look at these, these are incredible. You can fit so much stuff in here. They have pockets for all of your pens, pockets for all of your little tools you can shove in. And oh look, there's another one on this side. Oh look, there's also stuff on this side. You need a tissue? Girl, I got you. You need a band-aid? Here, honey, come on over. You need a tampon? Boom! These pockets are great. They have also these ones here, which are super cool. This one here, I don't know what this does. If anyone does, tell me, but I don't know what this is supposed to be for, but it's, it's cool, it's strong, it's durable. And look, these are the men's version. They actually fit me. They look great on my butt. I didn't have to alter them. And they are durable as hell. Look at those knees. Look at those double, du I mean, maybe triple. I don't know, they're really nicely enforced knees. I have never had a problem with them. 
they're good, the length is good, I can roll them up and look super cool, and like, look at that, look at that. These are everything that I want in a pair of work pants. They're durable, they fit without adjustment, and they are so freaking useful. They've got so many functions that actually work. It's like they actually worked on a construction site and thought, what are the best things we can have for construction people? Oh, let's make it in a pant. These ones are probably the most expensive ones on the list, but as you've heard me talk about before, they are worth it. These are 100% my favorite pants, 10 out of 10, green all the way. Oh, and by the way, None of this was sponsored. I bought every single pair myself and I didn't get a single discount. There's no affiliate code, nothing. Just me. Because this is my honest opinion. And if Helly Hansen does want to sponsor me, girl, I, you got my number. You don't, but like you probably, you can find my email somewhere. And if Carhartt wants to sponsor me, let's talk. Let me see what you can do. Anyways, if you found this helpful, let me know. Have you tried any of these pants? Do you have your holy grail work pants? Please let me know if you're a girl or a boy or something in between. I am curious. I'd like to find out. It is kind of a quest for the ultimate pants, but right now, Ellie Hans and Chelsea, they're up there. But I'm willing to be proven wrong. Thank you so much for watching. We very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. If you haven't entered the giveaway for a thousand subscribers, Please enter it on my last video. I will be doing the draw on August 15th. So some lucky winner will win a pair of wire strippers. And Hazel's very happy about that. Aren't you? Yeah. Thanks so much. Take care. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day.